so as we already as, as we already know uh, a wave carries energy right uh, and momentum so if it carries energy it carries some power and intensity so basically these are the three quantities power energy density and intensity it has an it has an interesting derivation like all these three have an interesting derivation uh, you can read the derivation if you want uh, so i'm not i'm not spending time in deriving these formulas but i felt from the exam point of view they are slightly important and then also in the examination you will not have the time to derive them so if at all anything is asked you have to memorize it so that's why i'm putting it across here you have to memorize so this is your energy density energy density is basically energy of oscillation per unit volume so remember your wave uh let me make it slightly thick it, it it's thin but but uh, it carries energy right and uh, if i try to understand how much of energy in oscill uh, per oscillation is there in, it, in its unit volume right how much of energy is there it is this much half rho omega square a square so so this wave is traveling in some medium so let the medium's density be rho right let let its density be rho uh so this rho is medium's density omega is the angular frequency of the wave you know already it depends on the oscillator so if the frequency of wave is f omega is nothing but 2 pi f right so this is this is uh, uh, angular frequency of the wave and this is the amplitude of the wave like how far the particles are going up and down if it's a transverse wave so half rho omega square a square is the energy of oscillation per unit volume second is your power right so uh, if i see that okay uh, this wave carries energy if i take a cross sectional area s i want to see how much energy got transferred from this side to that side like through this cross sectional area what was the energy that this wave transferred through this cross sectional area s that is given by this, by this formula so it's very simple just take the energy density half rho omega square a square you already know what rho is it's it's the medium's density so if i'm talking about string here it is the density of the string right density of the string if i'm talking about sound wave and air so this is the density of air so it's a density of medium in which this wave is traveling so uh, omega square a square you already know s is the cross sectional area like for which i want energy transferred per unit time this basically power transferred energy transfer per unit time is power transferred through s cross sectional area so s is the area of the cross section and v is the velocity of this wave like the velocity at which the wave is moving so this is what your power is and then intensity remember this is average power it's it's you could say average power get that is getting transferred instantaneous power it's a different thing in fact this average power has come from that instantaneous power so i would i would actually recommend you to to check out its derivation so check check out derivation yourself it's for it's it's it will help you understand how it has come better but anyways derivation will not help you memorize because you cannot use that derivation to memorize this i have already derived a lot of things actually to you and i and i also believe that derivation actually uh, helps you solve 10 or 15 problems of that particular model but in such such cases derivations will not really help you it will it will and it, it will what do you say give you an understanding as to how it has come but then ultimately you'll have to memorize it because if it is asked in the examination you won't have the time to derive that's why i'm not deriving it so check out the derivation you'll get how this has come uh, so instantaneous power is different this is the power for like this is this is the average power like at any time uh, for for a particular motion in in a particular time t what is the average power that is transferred through this cross sectional area so it is given by this formula third is your intensity intensity is energy transferred per unit time per unit area so if this unit area if this area was one the power that was transferred would be called as intensity right so i will say power by area is intensity so intensity is nothing but power by area so power transferred per unit area is your intensity or energy transferred per unit time per unit area is your intensity that's what i have written here energy transferred per unit time per unit area and then further what do you have to do you have the average power through an area s just divide that with s right just divide this equation by s you'll get the intensity so half rho omega square a square b you don't have an s here because you want power transferred per unit cross sectional area right so in fact either you put s equal to 1 you will get it or divide it with s or uh, you'll get the same thing remember that from this actually you can see from this formula intensity is directly proportional to a square right so any wave 
if I know its amplitude, I square the amplitude, I can get what intensity is. So intensity of a wave is directly proportional to A square. In fact, I already told you this when we were discussing that table of reflection and transmission. There I told you in, uh, intensity is directly proportional to A square. So for any wave, this is valid for any wave and it comes from this, like from this particular formula. So this, these are the three formulas that I would like you to memorize. Uh, and then uh, with this, I guess we are done with discussing all the fundamentals of waves. Let's proceed to the next chapter. Thanks for watching.